Hi, welcome to Parser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an email from Parser while looking up a value from a Google spreadsheet. The use case is to automate your property management. So let me explain how to do that. First, make sure your lookup table is set up into your Google spreadsheet. In this example, the first column is the property name and the second column is the email address of that property owner. This row is the one that is going to be matched in the example. Now log into your parser account. Once logged in, create a mailbox and send a booking to it. Here I have a sample booking that is anonymized uh, it's a booking from Airbnb. It's a sample. So I'm going to use that for the tutorial. So we want to send an email to the owner of this property that a new booking has been made. So the property name is here in the email and it has been extracted by parser as JSON here. So now we can use this to send our email. So now let's go to Zapier and connect all this together. So go to zapier.com, sign up or login. So we are going to create a new Zap. Uh, Zap is uh, Zapier's name for a process that chains applications. So our Zap is going to be made of three parts. The first part is a parser that extracts the data from our emails. Second part is the Google Sheet lookup and the third and final part is the actual sending of the email to the owner of the property. So first we create a zap, we choose the trigger app which would be parser in our case. If you don't find it in the list you can look it up by typing in the search box. So now we want this trigger the new document processed so each time a new document a new email is processed we want this zap to fire here you have to connect your account I have one already but for you you're gonna create you have to connect to your Zapier account here so for me it's this one Once you're connected, you can you can test the connection. Should be successful, then you can continue. You choose your parser or your mailbox, which is called properties in my case. It's the name of your mailbox. You can continue. It's going to test that everything is all right. You can continue on to the next step. So the next step will be the lookup into the Google Sheet. So what we want to do is to search, to look up for a specific row. So we are going to do the lookup. Here again, you need to connect to your Google Spreadsheet account. Once it's done, you can test it. it should work. This is the account where you your spreadsheet is with the mail the mail of the owners and the property names. So you can select it here. Select the worksheet, so there should be just one. And the lookup column. So this is the property name. That's the one we want to look up. And the lookup value is from parser is the data that we want to use to look up the row. So for us is the property name. It's the same same name. So we don't want to create a new spreadsheet row if it doesn't exist yet. Uh, not at this point. So just leave it uh, unchecked for now. We continue. Okay, now we have uh, two steps. So we can test that everything works. The test here is successful, so we can add a new step. So click here, add a step. And the last step is to send an email. 
So we use Gmail here. If it doesn't show up, just look it up. Very simple. You send an email. And so you connect your Gmail account. If it works, you can save and continue. So this is the setup to create the Gmail email that's going to be sent to the owner of the property. So the to field is the recipient of the email. So it's going to be the owner email address. So we are going to take it from the lookup, from the spreadsheet row. And we are going to take the owner email, which is from the column from the spreadsheet. So you take this one here. You can CC anyone or yourself, probably, to just to make sure that the email is sent properly. You can also use your own email as uh, the from, so the sender, so that the owner know that this email is originating from yourself. So you can create a nice subject, for example, your property, and then you insert the name of the property, for example, from parser, the property name as a new booking. And here in the body, in the body, if you want to use HTML, for example, to have it look nice, you can specify the name of the guest. For example, the guest from parser, the guest name, guest name as booked your property. And just in case the owner has several properties, you can check and specify the property name again. You can say that the booking is from the start date, check-in date, until the checkout date. until the checkout date that you get from your parser again and checkout date. So you can add as, as many fields as you want. So basically you want to uh, maybe relay all the information from the booking to the owner. And once you're finished, you click continue. And here is a sample of the email with the data that is collected from your your booking confirmation and once you're done you can send an email be careful this is going to send the actual email to the, the property owner so make sure that you test with your own email and there you go you should see your email showing up so this tutorial is over i hope it was uh, useful to you feel free to contact us through the chat box in the lower right corner of your screen goodbye